B. Josephine Mungare kutoka shirika la mawakili wa kike wa FIDA huko nchini ili aweze kutueleza zaidi kuhusiana na manufaa na pia yale ambayo huenda yakaonekana kama si manufaa katika mabadiliko katika sheria hiyo. Kwanza tupate vidokezo. walikuwa nafikiri ni alam wakachungulia wakapata ni mtoto ndio tukashanga tukachukua hatua kuita serikali kama alikuwa na shida angeambia wenzake wamsaidie kuliko angetupa mtoto mtoto wa umri wa miezi mitatu wapatikana ndani ya gari huko Eldoret ikikisiwa kuwa alitelekezwa na mamaye a mediocre state of doing work. Eh? Mm -hmm. machi ya siwa line na machi fresh imechanganyika. We are living in a not a good place at all. Wakazi wa Amani Court mtaani Tasia waandamana wakitishia kuchukua hatua za kisheria kwa mwanakandarasi aliyepasua mabomba ya majitaka na kuhatarisha afya zao. Kwa mama kama watatu manatoa mimi kwa nyumba juu ya ushungu. Kutoa mimi juu ya ushungu bara bara pereka mpaka kwa Kamweru Susan Karemi hana raha baada ya kukumbana na masaibu ya mguu kuoza kutokana na sindano waliodungwa katika hospitali moja huko Molo Karibu kwa taarifa zetu mimi ni Mashirima Kapombe na mtangazaji wetu wa ishara ni Meresha Uiti. Tunaanza huko Molo ambapo mwanamke wa umri wa miaka 45 amelazwa katika hospitali ya St Joseph's mjini Molo baada ya paja lake la kulia kuanza kuoza. Inadaiwa hilo ni kutokana na sindano aliyodungwa katika hospitali ya El Magon Maternity and Medical Center ya kutibu malaria. Victor Ugale na taarifa zaidi kutoka kaunti ya Nakuru. Susan Karemi anapokea matibabu katika hospitali ya St Joseph's Nursing and Maternity mjini Molo. Masaibu yake alianza tarehe 10 Desemba mwaka jana alipohisi maumivu kwenye viungo vya mwili. Maumivu yaliyoandamana na kutapika ndipo akaenda kutafuta tiba katika hospitali ya Elbagon Maternity and Medical Center. Anasema vipimo vilionyesha viini vya malaria ndipo wakadungo sindano na kurudi nyumbani. Badala ya fueni Susan alikumbana na hali si ya kawaida. Mugu wake ulianza kuoza na kutoa usaha. Wakati huu aliporudi katika hospitali hiyo anadai aliambiwa tafute msaada kwingineko. Safari ya ine, tunaenda kunakuwa siku ya Friday. Kwa mama kama watatu manatoa mimi kwa nyumba juu ya ushungu. Kutoa mimi juu ya ushungu mara mara mpaka kwa Kamweru. Tunamkuta kwa mwenyewe mwenyewe kwenye hospitali. Anatuambia iko na nia mbaya. Kogo tutoke hapa na tuwe na tuende hakuna hakuna kitu atatusaidia naye. Kwa mujibu wa Susan Karemi alipata matibabu katika hospitali hii lakini la kushangaza ni kuwa rekodi zake au hata jina lake haliko katika kitabu rasmi ambaye wagonjwa huandika wanapokuja kupata matibabu hapa. Hata hivyo kuna cheti cha uhamisho linaloonesha jina lake Susan Karemi. At the moment we are in Derema we don't know what's going on since we cannot know about the patient uh, as per our, our records which we have gone through with you guys Susan ambaye ni mama wa watoto wawili hufanya vibarua mjini Elbagon na kwa mujibu wa simamizi hospitali hii gharama yake ya matibabu imepita shilingi 1080 baada ya yeye kuwa hapa kwa wiki tatu kwa Susan na maelfu ya Kenya huenda taswira haingi kuwa ilivyo ikiwa madaktari hawange goma au serikali ingeafikiana na upesi. We have had a lot of cases of patients being mishandled in uh, briefcase clinics in various uh, regions. I think one particular case is what you have maybe seen from our institution. So on saving cost many patients will prefer maybe going to a herbalist or maybe going to a clinic where their pockets won't be frisked much. Fuga na usungu tu. Wazazi wa Susan wako mjini Meru na kwa vile hana simu wajapata kwa julisha hali yake. Victor Gale Kit News County Yanakuru. Mgomo madaktari na wauguzi umekuwepo kwa mwezi mmoja sasa kundi jingine la matabibu linataka kusikizwa na serikali maafisa wa afya ambao hufahamika kwa Kiingereza kama clinical officers wanasema punda sasa amechoka 
wakati huu wa mgomo wao ndio wanashughulikia wagonjwa wanaofika katika hospitali za umma Karol Nderi alizungumza nao mjini Nyeri Hapa ni katika hospitali ya rufaa ya Nyeri japo mgomo ungali upo hawa ni wagonjwa wanaosubiri kupata usaidizi na utatoka wapi iwapo madaktari na wauguzi wamesusia kutoa huduma za afya Afweni kwa baadhi ya wagonjwa hapa ni kuwa maafisa wa afya wanaofahamika kama clinical officers wangali wapo katika baadhi ya hospitali za umma. Wao pia sasa wanataka kuongeza sauti zao na kutahadharisha serikali dhidi ya kuwatunza matabibu wengine na kuwasahau wengine. Sawia na mzazi kumnunulia mtoto mmoja viatu na kumwacha ndugu yehoi wanasema. Pengine ukiorodhesha ni mambo gani ambayo mngependa uh, serikali kuangazia? Mwanzo kabisa inakaa kama tuna tunatengwa katika majadiliano. Tungetaka kuambia serikali ya Kenya kwamba tunafanya kazi mingi sana katika hospitali. Uh, especially outpatient department. Kila mgonjwa ambaye anakuja, mgonjwa kila mgonjwa ambaye anakuja katika hii hospitali, mtu wa kwanza kumuona ni clinical officer. Tumebaki eh, katika ile job group ile tuliingia nayo kwanza kwa county miaka sasa nne tano inaenda hakuna mmoja amekuwa promoted kama hapa Nyeri county hmm. nafanya calls usiku holidays weekends we don't rest we are always on calls hmm. kwa hivyo tunataka wakienda kuketi pale wakumbuke clinical officers wanashikilia hospital tungeuliza wenzetu uh, in the maybe the, the doctors the pharmacists and the rest of us to to Weshimu, weshimu vile ile kazi inafanywa na green call officer. Tunataka kuambia the public that we are qualified, we are not quacks. We are really qualified to do what we do. And that is why the government of Kenya has continued employing us as the green call officer. Hata sisi tupo na bila huduma zetu, huduma za afya zitatatizika pakubwa. Ndi ujumbe wao kwa shikadau na wahusika wote. Karun Deri Ketien, hospitali ya rufa ya nyiri. Tukirejea hapa jijini Nairobi wakazi wa Amani Court katika mtaa wa Tasi hapa jijini Nairobi mapema leo walifanya maandamano kulalamikia kutapakao kwa majitaka hadi kwenye milango yao hali ambayo inahatarisha afya yao Cecilia wa kesho na ripoti kwamba hali sawia na hiyo inashuhudiwa katika mtaa wa umoja tu ambapo kwa zaidi ya miezi mitatu wakazi wanaendelea kuishi na harufu ya majitaka Utasamehewa kwa kudhani huu ni mto. Lahasha, haya ni maji taka ukipenda sewage katika mtaa wa Tasia ambaye amekuwa hapa kwa kipindi cha takriban miezi miwili sasa. Sio harufu mbaya na kupiga unapoingia Amani Court katika mtaa wa Tasia jijini Nairobi, uharibifu wa magari yanayopitia njia hii umekuwa jambo la kawaida. <tos> Hii machi ya sewer line na machi fresh imechanganyika. Sasa hizi ukiangalia hii area hakuna watu wenye wanapata maji. Watoto sasa hivi kuna mtoto fulani ambaye amepelekwa hospitali hapa Prostor Park. Tumbi imefura kwa sababu ya sewer line. Wakazi walioja wana ghadhabu wakilazimika kuchukua mapumziko ya kazi kupitia maandamano wakawasilisha ujumbe wao. Watu wa Human Health um, wanafaa kuingilia kati mambo haya kama city council wameshindwa na kidero inaonekana umeshindwa na kazi yako kwa sababu barabara ndogo kama hii haifai kutatiza hao contractors wako ambao unafanya kazi na wao unless they are quacks this is a mediocre state of doing work eh? wakazi hao sasa wanalaumu tepetevu kwa upande wa aliyepewa kandarasi ya kutengeneza barabara hii takriban kilomita mbili miezi sita hivi iliyopita hali ambayo imesababisha ufujaji wa mabomba ya maji taka ila hakuna kusikiza kilio chao. We've been calling this contractor. She didn't pick our calls. But yesterday she called me personally and uh, told me please don't proceed with this demonstration. And that is the time I realized that there's something she's trying to hide. So then I told her we will proceed with the demonstration. We will show the whole the whole country that we are living in a not a good place at all. Katika mtao mmoja tu taswira ni ile ile kwa takriban miezi mitatu sasa maeneo ya barabara hii ya Moi Drive hayakaliki 
huku nani Unapata tukiita vijana wakucha utotolea hii mtaro na tuambia tutoa shilingi 700. Kila mtu tunatoa shilingi 700 tunawapea wanatufungulia hii mtaro. Haya vile wanatufungulia ikienda pale hakuna mahali inaenda. Juhudi za kuafikia viongozi husika zimegonga mwamba. Wakazi wataendelea kuumia. Ni baada ya taarifa kwamba kituo cha KTN kinaangazia taarifa hii ambapo maafisa wa kaunti wameza kuja hapa na kujaribu kurekebisha hali iliyokuwa mbaya zaidi. Lakini swali ni je, walingoja vilio vya wananchi ndio waweze kuwajibika? Sisi leo kesho KTN leo katika eneo la Tasia, Nairobi. Tuelekee mahakamani ambapo mwanahabari Aaron Ochieng ambaye amekuwa akifanya kazi kama mhariri hapa KTN News alifikishwa katika mahakama ya milimani hapa Nairobi akikabiliwa na kosa la wizi wa gari kiongozi wa mashtaka aliambia mahakama kwamba mnamo tarehe 23 Disemba mwaka uliopita Aaron kwa kushirikiana na washukiwa wengine ambao hawakuwa mahakamani aliiba gari aina ya Mercedes Benz gari la mfanyikazi mwenzake mwanahabari Joy Dorin Bira alikanusha shtaka dhidi yake na kuachiliwa kwa dhamana ya shilingi milioni moja au pesa taslimu shilingi laki tatu. Kesi hiyo itatajwa tena Januari tare saba mwaka huu na kusikilizwa tare tatu Februari mwaka huu. Kuengineko mtoto wa miezi mitatu wa miokolewa na wakazi mgini Eldoret baada ya kutelekezwa ndani ya gari lilokuwa limefungwa usiku mzima. Wakazi kwa ushirikiano na polisi walilazimika kutafuta namna ya kumtoa mtoto huyo kwenye gari hilo lilokuwa limeegeshwa eneo la Rock Center huko Eldoret. Wakazi waligundua kuna mtoto kwenye gari hilo baada ya kusikia sauti yake ya kilia. Maafisa wa AP walifika na, na mtoto kupelekwa katika kituo kimoja cha kuwaokoa watoto baada ya mtoto huyo kunyweshwa maziwa na kina mama waliokuwepo. Polisi wanawatafuta wazazi wa mtoto huyo ambao watakabiliwa na shtaka la jaribio la mauaji. Nikapata vijana wawili wakishanga gari ilipakiwa hapo nje ya, ya nyumba yao hawaku wako lakini wakapata gari ikiwa imepakiwa na kuna mtoto analia ndani walikuwa nafikiri ni alam wakachungulia wakapata ni mtoto ndio tukashanga tukachukua hatua kuita serikali mapolisi na mapolisi wakafanya haraka wakakuja tumestuka hata sisi tumeshangao kama alikuwa na shida angeambia wenzake wamsaidie kuliko angetupa mtoto kwa sababu hiyo ni malaika wa Mungu Tazamaji kuna mengi zaidi tulio kuandalia na pumzika kidogo nitarejea na tarifa zaidi. Kumbuka tunazungumzia swala la mabadiliko katika sheria inayohusu dhulma za ngono. Ni mswada mbuli wa silishu wa bungeni mwakajana na Florence Mutua. Tutakuwa nae Josephine Mungari kutoka shirika la mawakili wakike humu nchini FIDA. Josephine Mungari na tumekuuliza je unadhani sheria dhidi ya dhulma za ngono ni za haki? Je unadhani sheria dhidi ya dhulma za ngono ni za haki? Nambari ya rafa ni mbili mbili moja tano tano au kupitia mtandao wa Twitter at KTN News at M Kapombe ama at KTN Leo. Kwanza tupate kamusi ya leo. Katika kamusi ya leo tunaangazia neno mtari jumani. Neno mtari jumani lina maana sawa na mtu anayetafsiri lugha moja hadi nyingine au mkalimani. Mfano katika sentensi Mtari Jumani yule amebobea katika kutafsiri lugha ya Kijerumani hadi Kiswahili. Karibu tena mtazamaji na asante sana kwa kuendelea kwa nasi. Kamati ya sheria katika bunge la seneti iliendelea kupokea maoni ya watu na viongozi mbalimbali mbali kuhusiana na mabadiliko ya sheria ya uchaguzi kama anavyoarifu Nicolas Swambua. Mwanasheria mkuu Gidho Mwegai anasema kuwa Kenya inatumia mfumo analogi katika upigaji kura. Mwegai alizungumza mbele ya kamati ya seneti ya sheria katika mjadala wa njia mbadala ya kupiga kura iwapo njia ya kupiga kura ya dijitali itafeli. There can be system failure. And there has been system failure. And that is why we must have a method, even whether we send a man by motorcycle or otherwise, we must have a way of getting the results 
uh, uh, it, uh, to where they should be. An integrated electronic system that enables biometric voter registration, electronic voter identification, and electronic voter transmission, electronic transmission of results. And for Kenya, that is where the bone of contention is, the point of entry, so that dead voters are not so suddenly voting. This is where the manual system has been abused. So we have cured the manual system. The mere act of voting being manual means that the entire process is both manual and electronic. From the time of voter registration to the time of transmission of the vote, there are a few electronic interventions, but the voting system remains largely manual. A few, uh, a few, a few remarks. Magavana wamependekeza kwamba itakuwa ni vyema njia mbadala ya kuendeshi upigaji kura iwe ya kidigitali. Pia wanataka iwepo njia kutuma kura za rais katika kitu kikuu cha kuhesabu kura kwanza kabisa ili kupunguza msongamano wa mtandao. Solution is uh, for, for me and uh, we'll be discussing with the COG is investment in alternative devices that will use the same database. Even after I've been registered through B BVR, uh, I might not be, it might not be possible to identify me through EVD. Like in cases where, uh, like my hands got chopped off, or I was disfigured, I got burned, and so on. And uh, that is really something that can be dealt with uh, within this law again, to say in the exceptional circumstances that there are people who after uh, they were registered now cannot be identified. You make provision for those and there is a consensus. The real issue is the voters who don't turn up and we end up voting for them manually, identifying them manually. That is our problem. These others are not basically our problem. You would find millions of Kenyans having voted and they never turned up. So let's run away from situations in which it can, uh, that can actually destroy our country. Uh, and that is where we are, we, we are having difficulties. Manashiri ya mkuu waliambia kamati hiyo kwa mba hatu ya kutafuta njia mbade la sikuwa ni ambaya ila kuchukua tahadhari ya kukua mua mambo. Nicholas Mbua, KTN Leo, Nairobi. Karibu tena tuingie uwanjani. Timu ya mpira wa magongo ya kinadada ya Sliders inanuia kutoa taji la Afrika ya vilabu mwaka huu. Timu hiyo ambayo imekosa kushiriki mashindano hayo kwa takriban miaka saba inadai kwamba mwaka huu imejiandaa vyema kupambana na wapinzani wao katika kinyang'anyiro hicho. Msimu wa mwaka 2016 huko wa kufana kwa timu ya kinadada ya mpira wa magongo ya Sliders. Timu hiyo ilimaliza katika nafasi ya tano kwenye ligi baada kumaliza katika nafasi ya pili msimu wa mwaka elfu mbili na kuminatano. Huku mashindano ya vilabu vya Afrika ya kikaribia kungwa nanga, kina dada hao wanaisi kuamba wa mejianda viema kuchuana na timu ambazo zitashiriki mashindano hayo. We'll take each team one at a time. Yeah? We'll not underrate any team and we'll not, you know, we'll give due respect to each and every team. So... We are ready for the tournament. Amidst all odds, we want to take the top spot for this tournament. Sliders watakuwa kishiriki mashindano hayo kwa mara ya ine mwaka huu. Kinadada hao walishinda kombe hilo mwaka elfu moja miakenda tisina na tisa na kumaliza katika nafasi ya tatu mwaka uliofuata. Mara ya mwisho timu hiyo kishiriki mashindano hayo ilikuwa ni mwaka elfu mbili na saba na mwaka huu wanaisi kwamba uenda wakatua taji hilo. Ah, we'll go for the top spot. Yeah. We can't go in for any less. We'll just go for the top spot. That's what we've been working for and we hope to get there. Clearly, the pressure is expected and obviously there are people who maybe may think, uh, are we up to it? But the only thing I'll tell them is we are the team to watch. Kinadada hao wanadokeza kuambo pinzani mkali katika mashindano hao utotoka kwa mabingu wa ligi ya humu nchini Orange Telecom. I have been, you know, top seeded for the past over 20 years. So definitely they're our biggest challenge. And we know them, we played them in the league, and you know, we, we know how we fare with them. We are ready to take on Orange, we are ready to take on GRA, we are ready to take on any team that will come, and we are going to face them with the enthusiasm and the synchrony that is required. Mashindano ya vilabu ya Afrika tangwa nanga tare saba muwezi januari jijini Nairobi. Robinson Okenye, KTN Michezo.
Mchezaji wa soka wa zamani Joe Kadenge anataka kukutana na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kwa ujumbe ulionakiliwa na mchezaji wa zamani Sami Sholei. Kadenge anasema kwamba mwili wake hauna nguvu tena, hana siku nyingi duniani na kwamba inaonekana muumba wake anampa ishara za kuwapungia mkono wa Buriani mashabiki wake. Anasema kabla ya kukutana na muumba wake, angependa kukutana na Rais Uhuru Kenyatta na kumpa uhusia. Mimi nakwambia kuna watu wengine katika serikali ambao nimependa kuona. Kwanza president wa Kenya ni kipendo sana kumuona. President kama president wetu sasa kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa nakiza mpira ya Kenya kabla ya yeye hajazaliwa. And I'm very proud to have as a president kwa ndi chama ya chama ya, chama ya Kenya. Na ningependa mimi kumfikia na niseme na yeye. I'm very proud of my president. He was a very young, uh, even before he was born, he was by, he became, he became to be a president. I wanted to meet, to meet, to meet him. Uh, because I would say that I was actually probably a young brother to his father. Now he's the president and you know, I'm very happy. Okay. We talk about president when you know where it was a man, who there was a man kuna mkumbuka wale wazee ningependa kuwaona alis mwili wangu unaonekana haidipendi kwa sasa na ningependa kuwapa kwa heri mimi nikienda zangu ni munga kilichukua wape heshima ya kusema wapati kwa nchi ya Kenya waendeshe hii nchi yangu lakini sasa sijapata nafasi yote ukijaribu kupata mkubwa inakuwa ni vigumu sana kuwapata kuona Je, yeah, unadhani sheria dhidi ya dhulma za ngono ni za haki? Eric Ndongo kutoka Pondamali anasema sheria dhidi ya dhulma za ngono ni wastani. Kifungo cha maisha ni bora zaidi. Soko tunakueleza zaidi kuhusiana na haswa uh, ule mswada ambao uliwasilishwa bungeni kuhusiana na kuleta mabadiliko katika sheria uh, dhidi ya dhulma za ngono ama Sexual Offenses Act uh, Act Amendment Bill 2016 uliwasilishwa na Florence Mutua. Hayo ni kwenye KTN News hivi punde tukiwa naye Josephine Mongare kutoka shirika la mawakili wa kike humu nchini FIDA endelea kuwa nasi